First stanza. These opening lines show that the poet sees the importance of one's mother tongue. If a nation's people wholeheartedly embrace and love their native language, that nation will also surely pursue liberty. He likens this idea to a bird soaring freely in the vast and eternal sky above. Second stanza. Language here is likened to a people born into freedom. The Philippines may have been a colony for most of its history, but if the people preserved their mother tongue, this would become a symbol of relative freedom and of identity. Third stanza. It is here in these lines of verse that we find the famous quote attributed to Rizal: "He who does not love his own language is worse than an animal and smelly fish." Filipinos must work to make the language richer, an endeavor likened to a mother feeding her young. The native tongue is now compared to a helpless child that must be nurtured in order to grow and flourish. Fourth stanza. The poet believes Tagalog is equal in rank to Latin, English, Spanish, and even the language of the angels. It is not inferior to any other language, nor must it be considered so. For God bestowed this gift on the Filipinos, just as He has blessed the other nations and lands with their native tongues. Last stanza. These last lines may very well be referring to the Alabada or the old Filipino alphabet, whose characters are unique in every essence, finding no likeness in any other alphabet. The Tagalog language, the poem says, has letters and characters of its very own. Similar to the way other elite tongues do, these letters, however, were overthrown by strong waves and lost, like fickle boats in the stormy sea, many long years ago.